I was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy when I was four years old. And growing up, um, I always knew I was different. I wasn't able to really do the same things that my friends could. You know, my bones are pretty weak. And it got to the point really where I just couldn't walk anymore. Um, and I've been in a wheelchair since I was 10 years old. You know, I really look at life differently where things really aren't that bad, no matter how bad they seem, because it should always be much worse. Um, and I realized that, you know, I wasn't really doing what I wanted to do, so I made sure to change that. I've been public speaking since I was pretty much at 9 or 10 years old. So getting up on stage in front of a large group of people is pretty much second nature for me. Um, I've always used comedy as a coping mechanism, where if something bad would happen, I would always try to find the bright side and turn it into a joke. And then I realized that I should make other people laugh with my jokes. And not only do they feel good, but it makes me feel good too. Um, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from pretty much everybody that I've spoken to. Um, even that I perform comedy to. Um, a lot of disabled people kind of thank me for going out there and giving my talk because they've had the same aspirations of telling their life story, but they've been hesitant because they're not sure how people would receive them. And seeing me do it um, gives them the confidence that they could do it too. Um, the best advice I could give is that to just keep trying because failure is a good thing. Um, I realized that throughout my life that, you know, just because you don't accomplish something the first time doesn't mean that you should stop trying. Because when you fail, you learn about yourself and you learn to try it differently. And really, failure, failure just gives you more opportunities to try and try again until you eventually succeed. I think the one thing that I really just want to get out of my life is that I just want people to understand that disabled people are just that people. That we're no different from everybody else. Yeah, I have problems, and some of my problems are more visible than others, but everybody on the planet has problems. And that shouldn't stop me or anybody else from doing what they want to do in life. If something's going to make me happy, I'll do it. And I think people just need to understand that you can treat me the same way that you would treat anybody else.